What if there is another broker that can complement every single flaw that Interactive Brokers has and is way more beginner friendly, easier to fund and open an account and backed by Tencent, the largest company in China? Well, here it is. Hey what is up guys, it's been some time since I've done a review on stockbrokers other than interactive brokers and I'm genuinely excited to share this review with you because I think Moomoo Moo has some really unique features that complements interactive brokers really well. Just for disclosure, this video is sponsored by Moomoo Moo, but I've agreed to review their platform with one condition that they won't have any input on this video's production or get to preview before it's posted, which they have agreed. So rest assured, this review will be done just like how I would on any other brokers. And thank you Mumu for sponsoring this video. I also have an affiliate link down below that you can use to open an account to get free trading for one full year, level 2 real-time US market data and 40 SING dollar cashback coupon. And if you deposit over 2.7k SING dollar, you will receive up to one free Amazon stock, which is an easy way of earning around 150 SING dollar just by depositing. So just to give you a little background on them, Mumu is an online stock trading platform founded in 2018 that allows you to invest and trade US, Singapore, Hong Kong and China stocks, ETFs, options, futures, unit trust, money market fund, bond funds, and many more. And although their Moomoo brand is only 4 years old, they actually started operating in Hong Kong since 2012 under the name of Futu Bull, where their parent company acquired an online brokerage license from the authority. And only recently, they rolled out to international investors under this Moomoo name. And speaking of that, it is a wholly owned subsidiary of Futu Holdings Limited, which is a financial institution listed on the US Nasdaq Stock Exchange with a market cap of more than 6 billion US dollar as of the recording of this video. This is a good sign to me as public listed companies are more transparent and they face stricter regulatory requirements just like other public listed brokers like Interactive Brokers and TD Ameritrade under Charles Schwab. From their 2021 annual report, we can see that it is a Chinese-owned entity and Tencent owns 21% of its ordinary shares. So it's safe to assume that Tencent does have some influence and transfer of technology into this Momo platform, which is a good thing if you ask me, since they are the largest Chinese and largest tech company in the country by market cap. And fun fact, it is also backed by famous international venture capital firms such as General Atlantic and Sequoia Capital. So that gives me the additional comfort that they are in the good hands. And because they have such a strong backing from Tencent, Futu Holding not only offers stock trading services, but they also have their own trading, clearing and settlement service that allows them to be more efficient just like Interactive Brokers and TD Ameritrade. And just for your info, not many brokers have that capability to run their own clearing and settlement service while being regulated by top tier regulators. And speaking of regulation, Momo is mainly licensed and regulated in 4 different countries namely the US, Singapore, Hong Kong, and Australia. In the US, Moomoo is regulated by the US Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, and the Financial Industry Regulatory Authority, FINRA, and investors under them are further covered for up to $500,000 by the Securities Investor Protection Corporation, SIPC. And just to give you another layer of comfort, all US stocks with Momo is held in custody by Interactive Brokers, yes, I was genuinely glad to learn about that as well. And in Singapore, Momo is licensed and regulated by the Monetary Authority of Singapore, MAS. And just very recently in June 2022, they became the first digital brokerage to receive a full membership by the Singapore Exchange Committee which is also the reason why I am introducing them to you today. And in Hong Kong, Momo or to be accurate, Futu Securities is regulated by the Securities and Futures Commission of Hong Kong, SFC, which allows them to carry out the brokerage and futures trading service. And to top it all off, they are also licensed and regulated by the Australian Securities and Investments Commission, ASIC. Feel free to pause if you want to look at all of their licenses, but overall, if you ask me, the fact that they have full regulatory coverage in US and Singapore, US being the largest capital market in the world and Singapore being the Asian financial hub, 
those are the two full licenses that interactive brokers got as well which gives me the comfort for their establishment although i'm gonna be honest that the fact that they are chinese owned does think a little bit not a lot just something that will always be at the top of my head anyways let's take a look at what they offer and how much they cost like i said earlier momo offers products of all ranges that covers the four main markets us singapore hong kong and china but for the purpose of this video, I will only talk about the fees that are related to stocks and ETF trading. For US stocks and ETFs, if you use my affiliate link down below to register, you will be able to enjoy zero fee trading for one year. And after that, there will be a small platform fee of 99 cents per trade. That is right. Although Momo markets their product as zero commission trading, the platform fee is still in place. It's definitely not the best thing, but it's not the worst after all. Since interactive brokers is like 35 cents per trade and commission free brokers like TD Ameritrade and Weibo is probably profiting from you in the form of payment for order flow, PFOF. So for what it's worth, Momo's fee package is still pretty decent because they could be leveraging interactive brokers for their US stocks clearing. So there's some level of comfort in terms of their order execution quality. And on top of that, there will also be some miscellaneous fees like SEC fee, settlement fees, FINRA fee, etc. which are charged across all other brokers as well. Plus, the amount is actually very small, so I won't go into too much detail into that. And to wrap it up, there are no corporate action fees unlike banks that will usually charge you a few dollars just to handle a single dividend distribution. Over on the Singapore market, you will be charged for both commission and platform fees, and they come at a minimum of 0.03% or 99 cents per order, whichever higher. And similar to the US market, there is a tiny portion of regulatory fee charged by the authority as well but there is no corporate action fees whatsoever. And for the Hong Kong market, the commission fee comes in at 0.03% or 3 Hong Kong dollar. Again, whichever is higher on top of an additional platform fee of 15 Hong Kong dollar per trade. And in terms of regulatory fees, there is quite a bit of it if I were to be honest, but in aggregate, one single trade in the Hong Kong stock exchange should cost you roughly 18 to 20 ish Hong Kong dollar, which is roughly similar to what interactive brokers offer. And before I forget, there also won't be any corporate action fees charged by Momo. As for the Chinese market, it's actually very similar to the fee structure of the Hong Kong market, except that they are denominated in Chinese Yuan instead of Hong Kong dollar. The miscellaneous fees are applicable as well, and there are also no corporate action fees. Props to that. In terms of margin rate, they charge 4.8% per annum for both Sing dollar and US dollar and 6.8% per annum for both Hong Kong dollar and Chinese yuan. From what I know, this rate is way cheaper than most brokers like TD Ameritrade Singapore and Tastyworks that charge 8 to 10% per annum, but slightly more expensive compared to Saxo Bank and interactive brokers that charge around 3 to 4% per annum. Anyways, let me run through a few features on the brokerage platform that I personally really, really like. If you are new to all of the stock trading styles, I would recommend you to start with their Momo mobile app, which you can download by using my link down below. It is seriously on par with what I've experienced with Webull before if not better and it's just so nice to use because the app is so responsive so much so that it makes interactive brokers look like a 20 year old car compared to this beautifully looking ferrari or an orange mclaren to be precise you can customize your watch list to monitor stocks etfs crypto and etc over different markets get a bird's eye view on how each industry is performing on that day set earnings reminders on companies in your watch list compare stocks side by side across different financial parameters and technical indicators, get free live level 2 data on US stocks, perform fundamental analysis on the various financial statements, screen for potential growth companies based on various inputs, track what are the institutions are doing like Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway, stay updated on news 24-7 delivered to you in the form of articles or videos from Bloomberg, get a preview on the economic calendar's forecast, and so many more features that I think you will definitely appreciate it once you have tried it yourself. And if you want a more full-fledged trading experience, you can even download the Momo iPad or desktop software on your Windows or Mac and explore even more of the technical drawing tools and etc. Really, the sky is the limit. I will leave you to that. Another thing worth mentioning is that Momo also have the multi-currency account function that they call the Momo Universal Account, whereby you can store and convert US dollar, Sing dollar, Hong Kong dollar and Chinese yuan on their platform. That is right, 
by just having a Momo account, you no longer need to convert your cash to US dollar back and forth every single time you buy and sell US stocks and that will translate to a lot of cost savings over time. And in terms of currency exchange, it looks like there are no conversion fee involved because they probably already bake it into the conversion rate. So I went and tested it by converting my entire amount of freshly funded 2,871 Sing dollar into US dollar. And as a result, I got $2,059.97. So I went and compared what's the market rate on Google and bam, I'm supposed to get $2,066.85. So that difference of around $6 represents a spread of 0.33%. So if you ask me, 0.33% conversion spread is pretty done good already since it is on par with WISE exchange rate. And speaking of WISE, you can actually fund your Momo account via three different methods. One, instant deposit via DDA from your DBS or POSB Singapore bank account. This option is probably not possible for non-Singaporeans, so fret not, we have option number two, where you can perform bank transfer from any banks in the world. For those of you that have opened a CMB Singapore account with me before, yes, you can use this method to fund your Momo account. The last option we have here is by using WISE. This comes at a little bit extra fee compared to option number two, but it's still a pretty flexible option as well. Huge props to Momo for having this option available for its users. I have tried both bank transfer and funding with WISE and guess what, I sent both of them at the same time on 10pm on a Tuesday night and I got both funds received in my Momo account next day morning at 8.30am and with just a few more clicks, I got my SING dollar converted to US dollar within seconds. Talk about efficiency, now that seriously impressed me. And just before I move on, I will be uploading another video to show you how to set up your Momo account and fund it via the two methods that I've just mentioned to you. So remember to check it out if you need a step-by-step -step guidance. Wrapping up, summarizing my review on Momo is difficult, I've been spoiled. I'm so used to interactive brokers providing such a superior fee structure their flexibility to invest in over 33 different countries, the option to trade fractional shares in the US stock market on top of their way, way longer track record of over 40 years. That's just plain hard to beat for any other broker, let alone Momo. But that does not mean interactive brokers is flawless in every aspect because there are obviously gaps mainly in the form of platform UI and UX design as well as their user friendliness which to be honest is way down the drain compared to all the younger brokers that we have nowadays. All credits to Momo for identifying these gaps because what we have here is a broker that 1. allows you to quickly open an account within minutes to provide you more flexible funding options and lastly number three comes with more intuitive user experience across all of their platforms and obviously nothing is perfect and Momo is no exception because one you are not able to trade fractional shares in the US yet which is a bummer for a lot of new investors and two you are not able to trade in the European markets more specifically the London Stock Exchange in the United Kingdom where you gain access to all the Irish domiciled European ETFs that tracks all the largest index funds that allow you to pay less withholding tax. And last but not the least important, number three, it is inherently a Chinese owned fintech. But to be fair to them, this is just my personal bias and it's more of a preference rather than a bad thing as it is. Most Chinese brokers have been operating for the past decade or so and so far, there's no major defaults or whatsoever and that is partially thanks to the strict cross-country regulation from FINRA, SEC, MES Singapore and etc. In fact, if you already have an interactive brokers account, I would say that Momo fits in perfectly as a secondary account that gives you the extra touch of intuitive trading platform alongside all of its bells and whistles. I would say use interactive brokers for most of the boring long term styles and then use Momo as your daily driver when it comes to technical charting, following the news and just overall analyzing the stock market in a much more enjoyable manner. Alright that is all from me, feel free to use my Momo link down below and get all the freebies as I've mentioned to you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and while you're at it, let me know down below what you think about Momo. We will be opening an account with them. I look forward to seeing you down in the comments section below. Thank you for watching and as usual, I will see you in the next one.